Hi, it's me again. I know it's been a while, but I'm I'm back with a quick craft today. Um, I might not put any music with this. I'm trying to get used to talking. I'm hearing my own voice for a while. But today we're actually going to be making this. It's a witch's broom, and I know it's very um. Dazzled, I guess it's like it has a lot of trinkets on it and I thought you know while I was making this broom like oh maybe it's in a world where you know everyone's proud to be a witch you know where everyone is like they're not afraid to hide afraid to hide their talent or anything like that you know they can just be themselves completely and you know yeah so that's what that is today you're only going to need a few items for this craft. It's, it's, it's very quick, therapeutic. I'm sure you can come up with a whole bunch of different um, designs. I probably might do something different than what I did with this one, but it's the same concept. So, we need some trim. This much will, will do. Of course, if not, you can choose from a whole bunch of different shrimps. I have a problem. But I got this from AliExpress. Very nice charm. So we have that. We need a couple of different beads. Um, I have these gold beads. I have these. And I have teardrop beads. And we have some of these. We got these from Amazon. We have some of these. I like the hair trinkets, but they can be used for different things. And then we have these really big things like that. Also, in addition to this, uh, I use crystal beads, which I actually have here. And we have some pearl beads in there too. So, I just recently uh, decided to incorporate these star ones. They're different colors like that. I was like, and then, you know, there's the gold one. So that'd be cool to have on the end as, you know, the dangling part here. Oh, you'll also need some yarn. I'm using this color. This. And, oh yeah, a wooden dowel. Of course, you can tell that I've cut this one. Cut it to size. You can leave it, you know, this length if you want to. But I decided to cut mine, unless, of course, I wanted to make a really long one. I might not cut this one, just to see how I pull it. So, yeah. There's that. Let's get into it. As you can hear, I decided to put some music in the background. I don't know, I just always like to have music in my videos. Anyways, I'm taking the yarn and wrapping it around my fingers, using them as, you know, measurement. And then, um, once I get the thickness that I want, then I take the scissors and cut it. And, um, of course, I use the bigger scissors because I realized that the little ones won't work. Once you have your loops, I actually don't like to tie them on to the uh, dowel. I actually just put them on there, like you can see me doing there. Just, I'm not even gluing them or anything. Really just arrange them in different ways. And then I take the last one and I actually tie that around the, uh, the base, like that. So I could have glued them, but I decided to do it this way. Just in the thickness lens. Trimming. Of course, I don't want them all straight. 
the same way. This is the gold trim, but I actually wind up using a different trim, which was the danglies on it. But I actually set that to the side, and uh, there's the wire. And actually uh, making the little bead things at the bottom, the little dangles I showed you guys. So I put the bead onto the wire and then get it in the middle. And then I twist it. And once I twist that, then I add another bead on it. Of course, right now I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do something different or if I don't want you know, to do the same thing. So that's why you can see me trying to do beads. Anyways, I decided to make one with stars on it because I said I wanted to use the stars, so I'm using the stars and crystals. Um, and then I take the piece of dowel and I wrap it around the, I wrap the wire around it to get a good finish, so it's not poking out everywhere. Plus, I'm gonna actually take some more wire and put that on to to there, so it's all uh, in one strip. about six of these by the way. on either. I just put it around because of the wire. I just make sure it's tight. Just like that. Now we get our uh, air tree kits. This is the bead that's also over here. And you have to be careful with these because when you're trying to make them small you do have to kind of pull them apart to bend them in the correct way. For the dangly piece. I'm actually going to make the dangly piece and then sew it onto that uh, last bead there. And there it is. I put the last bead on there, put the um, dangly chandelier thing, and then I cap it with a crystal bead. And that's pretty much it. 